Welcome to our YouTube series of Hubdoc training. Perfect if you're starting to use Hubdoc for your small business, coupled with zero. I've got a few short videos here talking you through the basics of Hubdoc. You can watch them in order at your own pace or dip in and out to brush up on your skills. Now, one of the best things about Hubdoc is that you don't have to keep copies of invoices anymore. But what if you need to find a copy for a refund or you want to buy the same thing again or even if you just want some of their light bedtime reading? Well, that's what the document folders are for in Hubdoc, so you can easily find copies of your receipts. So on the left hand side here, if you click show folders, um, and you can see here that it's got uh, all the documents organized by supplier. So if you ever need to find anything, no matter how many suppliers you've got, there'll be Hubdoc will automatically organize it into um, a different, separate folder for, for each supplier. So you can easily retrieve copies of invoices. But if that seems like too much work, you can also search for a bill using the search bar at the top. There you go. Type in 0047 and that invoice comes up. So there really is no need to keep copies of your bills anymore. Another cool thing that HubDoc can, Hub can do is what I like to refer to as automating the shit out of your accounts. For example, we all know you can add invoices to HubDoc by emailing them. But the email address that you get to email your invoices into is obviously a bit weird and long to give people. You can't say to someone, oh yeah, don't worry, email it to hubdoc.sean.nv5wecna at app.hubdoc.com. No one's going to be able to write that down. So what you can do instead is if you create an invoice, uh, sorry, so what you could do is create an email address for your business. Say accounts at whatever your name is dot com. Um, or invoices at whatever your company name is dot com um, and ask all of your suppliers to send invoices there. You could then set up an auto forward from that email address to your HubDoc email address and then it will go straight into HubDoc. So this coupled with also setting up all your suppliers in HubDoc to auto sync to zero, um, which if you remember you can do on the suppliers tab by clicking this and auto sync. So this coupled with also setting up all your suppliers in HubDoc to auto sync to zero and also link your accounts to so things like utilities and those on credit terms, you could effectively have all of this done for you automatically. Now, of course, this would obviously be checked and verified by you when these uh, appear as bills in zero. So follow these steps if you're looking to automate the shit out of your accounts. And that's it for our HubDoc training series. I hope you've had the time of your life. I know that I have, and more importantly, I hope you've now got a much better understanding of HubDoc and how it works. If you do have any questions, pop it on the video thread or drop us an email on hello.weadiverso.com. If you are a client, then contact your client partner. That's it. Have a great day.